Hey, it's Sam. Welcome to Boring Money, where money should be the only boring aspect of your life. Well, if you're watching this video, then you're probably wondering how you can earn extra money or having a side hustle while you have your own nine to five to deal with, right? Well, stick around because that's exactly what I'm talking about. On my channel, I always release videos on digital marketing and passive income strategies. So consider subscribing. Also, if you want, you can click on the link below to get access to my recession-proof business model that will teach you how to build an online business from the ground up. So don't worry if you have zero experience because you'll get the best training that will make you the top marketer. Great, let's get to the content. We get it, inflation is bad. Everyone needs extra money and you probably need the money as soon as you can, right? So throughout this whole video, I want to talk about a lot of different ways you can earn money. Whether you want to make money through your phone using apps or you want to be a freelancer and use your skills and do some gigs on the side, right? Maybe you saved up some money and you want to start your own business so that you can really escape the nine to five work life, right? Well, you can go that route too. Well, before I even get into that, I want to let you know that by the end of this video, I'm going to talk about a better solution to making money online, doing business. And this business model is called affiliate marketing, where you just recommend other people's products and then you collect commission based off of how many sales you make. Let's say you don't want to physically move around and actually put in the work or you don't really have means to a car or, or, or a bike. You can always make some money online, which is getting really popular now because everyone has access to high speed Internet. Things can be transferred fast and documents now are all on the cloud. And if you want the freedom to, to work on your own time, creating your own schedule, you can definitely work online, accepting different gigs from different companies or individuals. So let's say you have a hidden skill that no one knows about, but you can definitely produce some results with your skill. Maybe graphic design is your passion and your hobby and you're really good at it, but you're also unsure of if you whether or not you can land a job doing graphic design, right? Well, you can test out your skills with gigs from Fiverr, Upwork, Craigslist and freelancer and graphic design isn't really your thing and you've been watching a lot of extreme makeovers of, of people cleaning houses seeing the difference from before and after maybe you want to try that out and you can use TaskRabbit essentially when you're doing these gigs you're considered a freelancer by doing freelancing you have the freedom to create your own schedule and you can work wherever you want depending on the job at hand whether it's online or not right Let's say you want to build something of your own and maybe try to create your own empire because you want to generate passive income or at least have a fighting chance of getting financial freedom without working for someone else. That can definitely be done, but there's going to be some elbow grease that's required. And there are definitely a lot of e-commerce business models that you can learn about. So there's dropshipping, private labeling, white labeling, print on demand, retail arbitrage, software as a service, subscription based models and affiliate marketing which I specialize in. So one thing to know about these e-commerce business models is that there is really no pay ceiling for you to reach because the potentials of making a lot more money than you can even imagine is really possible. Since you're conducting business online, you're not limited to just local shops or local residents. You have the power of the internet delivering worldwide. So let that sink for, for a moment in your head. If you're interested in dropshipping, that's basically buying a product from a manufacturer or a supplier and then directly shipping that product to a customer that actually bought it and paid for it. With dropshipping, you don't need to see the product at all. Everything is done by the manufacturer or supplier. All you do is brand your own store. So private labeling is similar to dropshipping, but you're putting your own brand on products. Let's let's use an example of phone cases. You're branding your own phone case. You're going to buy like a thousand of these phone cases to sell on either Amazon or your own website or, or, or eBay, whatever platform you choose to use. So essentially you're selling this phone case with your brand on and you decide how much they pay for it. You decide the, the shipping costs and you decide how you want the design. It depends on how much you can afford or negotiate with the manufacturer that, that are making these for you, right? Then there's print on demand. If you're really good at graphic design or you have a lot of funny t-shirt ideas that you want to create, well, this could be for you. So print on demand is basically you working with a, a uh, printing company and depending on what products you want to promote and sell, you advertise your products that you created on your website. And once someone buys a product, the supplier or the, or the printing company that you're working with will immediately create that print on, on a mug or on t-shirt or, or on a hoodie or whatever it is. And then they will ship that product to the customer that paid for it. So that's print on demand. Everything is made on order. So there's no waste of inventory if you can't sell, right? So that's the difference between private labeling and print on demand. You don't hold any storage. Then there's white labeling, which is similar to private labeling, but you're using a company's uh, product that they created and then you're just branding it yourself. You probably see this a lot in supermarkets and, and even Costco. They have Kirkland as their own brand. 
Look at Amazon, the, one of the biggest companies in the world. They have their own Amazon basics. What they do is take ideas from, from successful sellers and just rebrand it themselves. Then there's retail arbitrage. You can either do this in person or online. So what retail arbitrage is, you buy things from retail stores either at a low price and then you try to resell it at a higher price. There was one year where a lot of Elsa dresses were being bought from Walmart and Kmart and being resold on eBay for a decent amount, That's, which is crazy. All these scalpers doing that, right? So you can either buy from a website or physically go to Walmart, buy at low, and then sell at high. That's basically what retail arbitrage is. Then there's a SaaS model, software as a service, where you create your own software where, and then sell it to people, either a one-time fee or a subscription fee, which is pretty much like the online version of Costco, where you have to pay a membership to use services that are related to Costco. But a better example is Google, Microsoft, using their cloud storage. There's gonna be fees for every month that you pay for or annual payments. Which brings me to the next business model, doing subscriptions. I do the keto diet, which is just basically not eat carbs and that's how you lose weight and, and the first time doing it i was learning the ropes so i didn't know what to eat what to uh what to really buy for food because carbs are basically everywhere that's the cheapest food out there and once you accidentally eat carbs then your keto diet is over you gotta restart you gotta you gotta start all over again and get into the rhythm of doing keto again so with subscriptions there's a lot of food companies that do food subscriptions. And these exist because a lot of people don't have time to cook on their own or go out to, to buy food. So what they do is buy these ready packed meals, maybe a month's worth of food that come in a box and you have to store in a refrigerator or the freezer. That's one way of doing business too, doing subscriptions. People, people pay per month for the amount of food they want to buy, depending on the service, right? There's also other companies that, that sell little goodies that, that are random, that come in a box. One example from for the subscription model is doing Loot Crate. Loot Crate does that thing where they put random different toys with a theme and then just send it out to, to everyone that is subscribed to it. So that's how you can make money with subscription models. Now, affiliate marketing is probably the easiest way you can make money online. And that's basically just promoting someone else's products, promoting someone else's product and receiving commission for each sale you generate. Affiliate marketing is the name of the game. You're just marketing to other people. And the best strategy to use for affiliate marketing is finding someone's problem and solving it. So I hope this session was useful. I hope this video was very, very insightful for you to, to really go out there and just make it your side hustle and even maybe make your side hustle your full time because that's possible. So if you got some value out of this session, please uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. If you wanna learn how to start your own online affiliate marketing business, then be sure to click on the link down below because you're gonna learn how to do it the right way. There's a lot of crap out there that you wanna stay away from because they're gonna teach you the simplest way as, as fast as they can, but you're gonna generate possibly zero income or even lose money. If you wanna learn how to promote things of value, such as information on teaching people how to solve their problems, whether it's making money, whether it's improving themselves, whether whether it's guitar lessons or learning how to invest in real estate, be sure to click on the link down below because you're gonna get a free four day video training series that'll teach you the benefits of affiliate marketing and how you can get started. Imagine being able to provide value to people to enhance people's qualities of lives and being able to make money while doing so. It's a really good feeling because all you're doing is recommending products that will solve people's problems. And on top of that, you're collecting commission by helping people solve their problems with these products. You're going to learn how to pick and choose the best products to promote. You're going to learn how to build an email list for yourself and learn how to recommend even more products that, that will help other people. So with that said, I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for joining me in this session. I hope you learned some valuable tips and tricks to begin your affiliate marketing career. If you want to find out more about doing affiliate marketing the right way, consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, and hit the bell icon if to be notified when I upload a new video. For more tips, be sure to subscribe into my email list and get the 8-step affiliate marketing mastery guide for free. And I'll see you on the other side.